Hi, and your name is? Fee. Fee and? Tony. Tony. Tony, you're uh, Fee's son? That's correct. Yeah, and you came all the way from California to see Dr. Yep. Jasper, huh? Yep. Yeah, so Fee, what, what happened to you? What, how, you got hurt? Yes. Yeah, you had your pain for how long now? Yeah, pain on uh, over almost 20 years. 20 years, yeah. So on a, on a regular day, okay, uh, one being nothing at all, 10 being really, really bad. Yeah. How was your pain just on a regular day? A uh, regular day? Yeah. Some days bad and some days okay, depend how much exercise I am. Oh, uh, right, right. So if you moved your body yeah. more, yeah, I, you were hurting more. So oh. it kind of limited you to what you could do. Yeah. Yeah. Walking and standing was the worst. She would, the pain would get up to nine or ten. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So it progressively got worse. It wasn't like overnight, but the last quite a few years, she's seen a lot of orthopedic and neurosurgeons, and they wanted to do open back surgery and fuse some of the vertebrae. And she has friends that have had that done, and the recovery was horrific. Right. <laughs> so she's been holding on as long as she could before she had to do something. And we were talking earlier about uh, what type of business are you in? I'm in the medical device industry. Right. Yeah, so, um, you know, seeing my mom in so much pain, I wanted to, you know, do something about it. So I just started asking around. And I work out in California, and Dr. Jasper's name came up quite a few times. Um, really? Yeah, so after a while, it was clear we needed to talk to him. And, and after I sent him all the MRI and the CAT scan, we did consultation over the phone. And um, we knew it, it was necessary to come out here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. All the way from California. All the way from California. Best guy for the right job, that's right? That's the guy to come. And you know what? When you have that kind of a problem and it's that serious, that's not a big deal. Sure. You you know? Know? And your mother's everything. Yeah, you exactly. want her to have the best that's care. Right. Yeah. right. Right. So now yesterday you had the uh, uh, endoscopic discectomy. Right. All right. Now today you're feeling a little pain from the surgery still, yeah? Yeah, not much, but I do. Yeah, do you, but you can tell the difference between that pain and your everyday pain? Yes. Yeah? And is, is, how's your everyday pain today? Uh, everyday pain today? Yeah. But today is the first day. First day. But if I can get on a plane, I have to be here. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right. we're going, we're flying back home tonight. Oh, tonight? So it, uh... If she was in a lot of pain, we were going to just stay. Right. So she's doing pretty good for the day after the procedure. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's sore, um, yeah. but it's not that's from the procedure, whereas before it was more of a, you know, stabbing kind of pain and shooting down her leg all the way to her, to her ankle. Right. She doesn't have that now. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So now when, you, when you're on your way to the airport, and when you get home, you have to take it easy. And yes. when you get home, rest. I know. That okay. Say about a week is rest. Yeah. We've had we've had patients who have gone right back to their lifestyle, oh, be yeah. it be it sports or whatever, and right. they re herniated. Oh right. So you have to be very careful with yourself because your body still needs to heal. Yes. Right. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Okay, but once it heals, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel great. Right. You yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. I know. So. You know, you feel good for four years. And yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. Happy and, to do so. And uh, we're so glad you're doing well. Well worth the trip. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye. Thank you.